Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the new stable release of Manjaro with the LXDE desktop environment. It uses Openbox as its window manager. Uh, it is a very nice, effective, simplistic uh, operating system. The LXDE desktop environment is one of my favorites. And this particular release uh, is pretty much bare bones. There's not a whole lot of software that's included out of the box. Let me go over that with you. Now for accessories, I really haven't added anything to it. Um, uh, Chrome Apps, because I installed Chrome, it comes along with Chrome Apps. Game Steam is included out of the box. Graphics, GIMP, and Simple Scan. Uh, internet, as I said, Firefox is included, and I installed Google Chrome. For Office, you just get a PDF viewer, and you can add the Office uh, programs that you want. And there are several available within Linux. I did add Etcher. For programming is QT4. Sound and video, I added uh, GUVC View. OBS simple screen recorder scratch that I uh, GUVC view I believe was included out of the box I added OBS and simple screen recorder you also get VLC and XF burn for system tools uh, everything you see here is pretty much what I what came out of the box I, I really didn't add anything to this uh, and for preferences you've got the standard LXDE open box configuration. Uh, everything is modifiable. The configuration options are a little more manual, so, uh, so to speak. Um, and you have to dig in if you want to make changes. Open box configuration manager, for example, you can change the number of desktops. So everything is accessible, but if you're not used to LXDE, you'll, you'll have to go looking uh, and experimenting, and that's half the fun of using a new desktop environment. Uh, so uh, as I said, I prefer LXDE. It is my favorite desktop environment, along with uh, the Mate desktop and XFCE. Now, you, uh, I'm sure you realize lately I've had a couple of issues with Manjaro uh, and Arch Linux in general uh, the last update uh, really wreaked havoc with many many user systems and those issues seem to be resolved uh, and this this release is running terrific no issues whatsoever now I installed the uh, distribution on my um, main SSD along with several other Linux distributions and I ran the updates with no issues at all. <clears throat> I also installed drivers as you can see my Realtek Wi-Fi driver installed uh, using Yowert and then I had to install the Linux headers but that is a typical uh, installation procedure within Arch. Uh, so it's very very simple it's not uh, a problem as long as you know the steps to follow uh, my Nvidia drivers because I chose the non free version of the install my Nvidia drivers were installed out of the box and you can see here I'm running the 37539 driver no issues at all uh, as soon as I booted NVIDIA was active now for theming <clears throat> you need to go into customize look and feel you can see the vertex Maya theme is issued or enabled out of the box you can go with the dark version also um, I prefer the lighter version for color you can check off use customized color scheme for icons it has the uh, arc maya icons um, i prefer the faenza icons but you could it's an easy fix if you want to change that 
mouse cursor, window border, your font, and other. Now, if you want to change the font, believe you have to go into open box configuration. And then in the appearance tab, you can change the fonts. So you've got multiple configuration options. Now, the LXDE was slated to disappear um, with the advent of LXQT. And LXQT is co a combination of LXDE and Razor QT. So um, many people prefer LXQT. I have tried both, and I prefer LXDE. But again, your mileage may vary. Uh, it's different, different uh, preferences for different users. But as I said, I prefer this version, LXDE, and I hope it stays around for a while. I have not heard of a cutoff date on LXDE, and I, and I think because of the uh, popularity of LXDE, it'll stick around. Now, there are multiple hotkeys that are enabled out of the box. So if you go to Preferences and you go to Set Up Hotkeys, you can see how many hotkeys in their various functions that are set up for you out of the box. Now you'll see Scrot uh, is set up by default. Now if you want to take a screenshot just hit the print screen key and I will enable my file manager so you can see that populate. So if I go to my home folder and I hit the uh, print screen key you can see the uh, screenshot populate in my home folder and so that's set up for you out of the box now the only issue I had with this distribution and it's it's it was not a major issue but uh, when I tried to set up my printer using the method that I normally use within Arch and Manjaro I had some difficulties now normally I use the print settings to add my printer now this exclamation point is telling me that my printer is low on ink there's nothing wrong with the printer and it works perfectly the issue that I had was when I went to add the printer using print settings uh, it would not find the drivers even though I installed them now that's not usually the case with a Manjaro distribution normally as soon as I go to add the the printer and I and it's a Wi-Fi printer so as soon as I plug in the IP address um, and click add it normally finds the drivers that I've installed through Yowert and uh, configures the printer automatically but this time around I was not able to do that I had to go into system tools and manage printing and I had to enable I had to enable my printer through cups the cups remote server so I had to click on adding printers and classes and then I had to go add my <coughs> printer using add printer and that worked fine you can see if I click on manage printers there is my printer and it's working perfectly no issues whatsoever but that is the only uh, glitch or difference between past versions of Manjaro or Arch versions. Normally, normally I can use the print settings option to add my printer. But as I said, the printer is working fine. <clears throat> so guys, that is it for this uh, release, this review of the new Manjaro LXDE this is the new the new release it is running perfectly no issues at all uh, 
If you are a fan of the LXDE desktop environment, by all means give this a try. I haven't had any issues at all with it other than that minor printer glitch. Everything seems to be rock solid. No problems whatsoever. Uh, Thanos and his crew over at Manjaro Community Editions have done a wonderful job on this release and I hope this release I hope this LXDE version continues for the foreseeable future because I believe there's a, a definite user base that prefers LXDE. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Take care.